Engraving was traditionally done by hand using various tools, but these days almost all engraving is done automatically using software and a computer. At this Johannesburg business, a qualified engraver demonstrates engraving machines, an excellent way to find out what this career involves. Basically, engraving describes marks of various widths and depths made on a surface. It can be done on glass, some metals, wood, leather, paper, and some plastics, among other surfaces. If you think about the signs, lettering, and images you see in everyday life, many are probably engraved. The marks can be raised called proud or be cut into the surface called in. For example, this wording is engraved in and the braille version is proud. Engraving is more widely applied than we realize. Used for personal, security and branding purposes. For example, a message on a ring, the manufacturer's trademark inside a mold, the name on this rubber stamp and the brand name on your cell phone. Even the lines on the soles of your favorite tackies were engraved. There are two types of automated engraving, rotary, also known as computerized, and laser. We'll start with rotary engraving, which is closer to the technique of original handheld engraving. The engraver gets the artwork from the client, showing the size, the font, and any other design details, which are programmed into the computer. This entry-level rotary engraving machine requires more hands-on manipulation than a laser. We've all seen name tags, and here a rotary engraver uses an industrial scratching diamond to engrave them. Bigger machines can do more complex work and are able to offer flat and cylindrical work. Here, the engraver makes a sign on clear perspex, and this machine rotates the product as it engraves a personal message onto a ring. Laser engravers, known as CO2, use light that generates enough heat to mark or cut through the material. The same process is followed as for rotary engraving. The engraver inputs the client's artwork, the sizes, fonts, colors, and any images. Here, a message is engraved on an invitation and a fine paper pattern is cut out. Laser engravers can create a wide variety of effects and finishes. For example, they can reproduce an entire photograph on metal. Even though the days of hand engraving are over, automated engraving still requires a creative flair and an eye for design. Entry-level requirement is a grade 9 with maths. Engravers are qualified artisans and have to pass a trade test accredited by the Quality Council for Trades and Occupations. On-the-job training is provided. This career offers a lot of variety. It's a skill applied to so many things we see in our everyday lives.